everyone, I'm Chantal. I'm Cody. And welcome to Unit 2, More Chores. So as the title tells us, we are talking about everyone's favorite thing, chores. <laughs> <laughs> so as we know, basically, when we say something is such a chore, it means we don't really like doing it. Mm. But research is showing us that we actually need to change our attitudes when it comes to chores. Mm. It might really be good for us, mm -hmm. um, mentally, physically, etc. So for children, basically, it actually is really, really good. It is so good for their mental health and mental development. And it actually also helps them, you know, learn teamwork and learn how to be responsible and also how to prioritize when, you know, they're going to a messy room, what to do first. Chore. Chore. Prioritize. Prioritize. For adults again, you know, of course, it's difficult to get started when we have to clean up a place, but the feeling afterwards mm -hmm. when we're finished, just we feel so good. And that is because, you know, when we when we clean, for some reason, it, it releases endorphins and uh, neurotransmitters known as the happy hormones. Neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitter. Basically, the research just shows us that it seems like a chore to clean up and do chores around the house, but there are actually a lot of benefits. All right, well, on the topic of chores, right. how clean is your house? <laughs> it's fairly clean. Yeah. Uh, sometimes my you know, fiance will look at it and she'll like, oh, this is a little bit uh, you know, clutter or something. Yeah. And so she, what I used to thought was okay, but it's clutter. She helps me reorganize. And so now it's cleaner for sure. Nice. But I've always swept and mopped and I, I always have a priority of, you know, scrubbing the bathroom once mm. a week because mm. just naturally with the humidity and the heat to re recently in summer, yeah. uh, you get any kind of mold or any other thing pop up and mildew. So right. I, I hate that. Right, so right. It's pretty clean, I think, I have to say. Mm. What about your, your house? Same. Um, I do have a cat visiting for a while with mm -hmm. long hair and I find mm -hmm. it to be harder to maintain because the hair is everywhere. Yeah. So it's clean except for the hair that you have to sweep up the whole time. But I've never been a dirty person, so mm -hmm. to speak. I do like a clean space. My kitchen is clean. My bathroom is relatively clean too. But I don't think it's spotless. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> right. And then who would do most of the housework usually? Um, we're pretty good at splitting it 50-50 okay. actually. That's um, good. You know, typically if, if she cooks, I'll do all the cleaning. Yeah. If I cook, she'll just volunteer for cleaning. We good. don't really have to badger each other to convince someone to do one thing or another. But right. I also typically take out the trash, which ironically in America is also the guy job. The guy job, <laughs> yeah. Badger. Badger. And now for the language focus. First up is would rather not. And my example is short and sweet. I would rather not work on weekends. And for mine, it's keep plus noun plus adjective. So for my example, it's good to read often to keep your mind sharp. Mm. That wraps it up for our preview section and please join us for the review. <laughs>